So here's another. I'm just going to put a shield up because, like I said, the overspray on this is pretty substantial. Okay, so y'all can see that. I just said y'all. And I want to get this guy this guy out of the way. Look at that. I'm so happy with it. It looks beautiful. Okay, so if I want to do my finish with just the Ad Adirondack spray, see how it adds an amazing effect on there. So I can put in another bird, right? Some more, some more text. Isn't that beautiful? And you know what? It's already dry. So actually I'm going to go ahead and spray my edges and instead of working it in with a brush, I'm going to just leave it. See, I'm getting it all over my hands. It's okay though. It's water-based. It's not going to poison me. <laughs> okay. Awesome. So I've got some pretty great edges here. Some are darker than others, but I'm okay with that. Um, it's really light here. So I'm going to sort of spray so it goes over the main part of the canvas and onto the corner. That's great. Okay, so what I've got here then is my six by six wooden panel. And oh, look at how, when I sprayed from that angle, it caught the edges here. So now I've got these great blue edges. Really love that. So now I have to just make the hard decision. Is it going to go this way? This way? This way? or this way. Tough decision. Um, I think, so I'm going to use this little guy. So I think I want him on a darker background. So I think what I'm going to do is spray a bit more. So that's really darkened up. Oh, look at those veins. I love that. And I'm just, I'm not putting it down. I'm just sort of testing out to see where I want it to go. So I like how that sort of pops on there. Um, my little bird is light in color. And I thought that he kind of got lost in the, in when it was just blue, but I really like how he looks on the dark brown there. So I've done up um, some more of the quote. We have to jump before we can fly. I have a, there it is, before we can fly. So I'm just, I think this is, might be already dry. I'm just blowing on it a little bit. Now, I thought about putting another one of these on. I do have one that's already ready, already <laughs> tissue papered in yellow, but I'm not really sure that I like that. I'm just gonna lay it there just to see. No, I think I'm just gonna go with this. So I'm just testing out my placement and then I'm going to do the same thing as before. Acrylic medium. Look at my acrylic medium, the overspray. I think that's going to work though still. Let's see. Yeah, that'll be fine. It'll have a little bit of a tint to it, but that's really not a bad thing. Okay, so we have to jump before we can fly. Okay. Awesome. Great, see my acrylic medium, the little bit of a tint is really giving that um, typewriter paper a great color. Okay, and I'm just, because the acrylic medium had a bit of a tint to it, on my paper. I'm just going over, oh, that one looks a bit crooked. I'm just gonna shift it up a little bit. I'm just going over the whole canvas with the acrylic, the tinted acrylic medium. There we go, I think that's good. Oop. That was the shield that I put up. Okay. Sometimes I find I use my fingers more than I use my brushes. Okay, so we have to jump before we can fly. That's set. Now this guy. Nice. Okay, I think that's good there. Put my acrylic medium down. Let's 
see how my angle is going to be. I think I want him sort of straight on. So more acrylic medium to cover. Nice. And see, I'm getting some streaks there with the tint that's in my medium, and I want to make sure that that white part is really nice and white, so I'm just going to sort of clear that out. But the rest of it's okay to have a bit of a tint in it. Alrighty. Okay, so I've finished two pieces today. Um, you know, I'm really not sure about... This looks really dark up here. I'm wondering if I could lighten that up a little bit with some light paint. So I've got some light blue paint, but I don't want to put it right on the, the canvas, so I'm going to put it over to the side a little bit to see how that color would go. I'm going to try just a tad in the edges here. I want to brighten that area up just a tad. Awesome. See, I brought out the blue just a tiny bit. I don't want to make it obvious, but I just want to lighten that area just a bit. And I think that worked out really well. You never know what's going to happen when you try something out, but with mixed media, it's pretty, pretty fun to try. Okay. So I've got this guy, and I've got my chickadee, and I love both of them. And once they're completely dry, I'll probably leave them overnight. Once they're completely dry, I'm going to come back with my professional uh, varathane, oil-based. I'm going to put my acrylic medium back. And thank you so much for watching. And these two will be for sale in my Etsy shop. Thanks. Bye.